what's up so i just got back from hobby lobby and i decided i want to make my mom a physical gift because right now she's going to get her eyebrows microbladed but that's not going to be for like another month so i want to make her something that she can actually have on mother's day so i saw this picture online of this beautiful floral arrangement but me being the last minute person i am it's not going to get here on time and the reviews are really bad for the website so I decided I'm gonna make it myself. That plus real flowers will die in like two weeks and it's such a pretty arrangement that I'd rather use real looking artificial flowers. And Hobby Lobby does a really good job with that. <laughs> Not sponsored. But look how pretty, like there's different flowers that you can pick out, whatever your mom likes. My mom likes peaches and pinks, so I picked those out. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if your Mother's Day present is late from you because you try to make this, that's on me, you know? Just tell her, you know, Brittany sucks at posting so bam oh I probably shouldn't break that all right so first things first gotta get all your materials out all right so for this project you will need a basket a hot glue gun an assortment of artificial flowers white sticky felt light pink felt scissors a little foam ball you're kind of you're ruining the shot. Excuse me, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Nope, you don't take the material. Nope, don't take the material, damn it. Oh my God. You can either use floral wire or toothpicks. Some popsicle sticks and thin ones if you have them. Chanel, no, you're gonna hurt yourself. I know, I know, honey. You're also gonna need a cat for this apparently so this foam ball is going to be the main head so I'm gonna grab some flowers that look most like a head which are these and I'm gonna cut off the stem and then I'm gonna stick that stem into the foam ball and then for this part you kind of just have to eyeball it and see when it's beginning to look like a head and circular and so I would grab like random pieces of the flower and I would stick pieces in. And if the pieces don't want to stick in because it's too flimsy, then you can stick a toothpick into the foam ball and then stick the flower in. But that pretty much looks done. So next I'm gonna get a big popsicle stick like this one and, and I'm gonna hot glue gun it to the basket. Just a heads up, spoiler alert, later on in the video I had to extend the popsicle stick for it to be higher up for the cat to not sink into the flowers as much, but it wasn't too difficult to like redo so with one popsicle stick it didn't stay as straight as I wanted it to so I had to put like a backing to it so I just hot glue gun the bottom again and put the backing into the foam ball next I'm gonna make the ears so I kind of just sketched out the ears with that white sticky felt and I cut out that piece and then I grabbed the light pink felt and I made like the inner part of the ear and you're gonna repeat that for both ears and then you're going to take out that sticky part of the back and you're going to grab a little popsicle stick and you're going to stick that to the backing of the ear. And before I put it in, I just wanted to measure it, make sure that I liked how far away it was. And then I had to cut off a piece of the popsicle stick so it wouldn't be too long. And then I finally shoved them into the foam. Next, I'm making like that mouth part. So I'm going to grab anything kind of small and circular in this case I had like a Mac loose pigment pot and I just trace like two circles kind of side by side but I don't close off the circle in the inner piece but you're gonna cut that out and then you're gonna grab that light pink felt again and I just cut a really tiny heart for the nose then you're just gonna get the hot glue gun and then stick them together now for this part you can either use the toothpicks or the floral wiring like I said before I kind of wish I used the toothpicks instead of the floral wiring because it was a lot more flimsier than I thought it was going to be. But with the toothpicks, you can paint them black and I think it'll look really nice. So once you decided which one you wanted to use, you're just going to get six pieces total, three on each side, and I just used hot glue gun again and stuck it to where I thought it looked best. Once that's done, I'm just going to peel off that sticky part again and apply it to like the middle-ish of the face. All right, so for the arms, it's a little complicated, so bear with me. I had to do one arm off camera because I didn't really know what I was doing, so I wanted to make sure I did it right for you guys. But you're gonna start off with another of that circular, just like we did with the head, that circular flower thing. And I'm kind of placing it to where it's going to end up on the basket, like the corner of the basket. 
And so I glued down that little piece on the bottom of the basket and then put the flowers over it, if that makes sense. <laughs> And then you see all these openings and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down like one of the petals and then I just smush it together to like make it like an arm. Like you kind of have to form it that way. So you're going to glue little pieces of the petals and then smush the pieces together. And then eventually they'll smush into like an arm. So of course my camera decided to not uh, work so I had to use my phone so sorry about like this video being all over the place pretty much but here I did have to connect a longer piece of popsicle stick onto the foam ball in the basket because I realized the cat was sinking in too much then I'm grabbing some loose pieces of the same flower and I'm going to like kind of make a shoulder slash like the body part what I did is I grabbed random rose petals from like the head and I would glue it onto that loose piece and so it kind of all connected together eventually as long as you can connect the arms to the shoulders to the head and if there's any spaces of course just add a little bit of glue and kind of press them together so there's no spaces and then with the flowers I cut them all out so they wouldn't be just a huge bunch of flowers I cut them all separately so I can scatter them nicely and I just scattered them however I wanted to for this daisy specifically I wanted it to be in the middle so it really looked like the cat was just jumping out of the flower but then this part you kind of just do your own thing figure out your own arrangement how you like it So now I started realizing that the back is looking a little empty. I was going to cover it up with the flowers back there, but it didn't cover enough. And so I'm going to grab again some more loose flowers that I use the head with, the arms with. And I grabbed some loose ones and kind of stuck it to like the back of the ears. And then I started playing around with the roses more and started putting them higher up on the head. The sticky part is still popping out and I totally forgot. So I am just grabbing the same white felt and I cut it the same size as that ear and I just stuck it to both sides of the ears. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, I am making my outro right after I made my intro. So I'm probably gonna forget and that's why I'm doing this because I always forget to do an outro. I hope you guys enjoy. For all the mothers watching, thank you for your service. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. I hope you had a beautiful one. And for my mother, if you are watching, which I doubt you are because all you watch is Shane Dawson. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you so much. You are the strongest woman I know. You fucking beat the hell out of cancer. You saved your life along with mine, along with dad's, along with Jennifer's, because without you here, I think we would have all gone crazy. So, we love you so much. I hope you had a beautiful Mother's Day. Thank you for watching. Bye. So in the middle of editing, um, my cat attacked my hand. And I shouldn't be laughing because my mom's scared I'm gonna need stitches. <laughs> I'm like bleeding through the band-aid.